Jesus, all honor to Mary. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We thank God for another day of worship. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our topic is titled, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, from 15 to 21. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The religious leaders wanted to entangle or set a trap for our Lord Jesus Christ by asking him whether it was lawful to pay taxes to Caesar. In the passage, we can learn about the wicked nature of man, the need for man to fulfill his obligations to government as a responsible citizen and also to God Almighty as a good Christian. This passage also shows the wisdom of God in attending the problems of men. The Pharisees set a trap for our master. They wanted to entangle him or put him in a tight corner. Their intention was to cause trouble for Jesus by putting in conflict with the government and the people. Today, people set trust for their friends. People set trust for their family members and their colleagues. They want them to fail. They want them to fall. They want them to become exposed. Are you setting trap for your people? Are you setting trap for your friends? Are you setting trap for your colleagues? Or even your family member? Are you working for their downfall? The Lord is asking you this question. Are you an enemy of progress? Stop it. Jesus is talking to you as you are listening to this message. Stop it. It is not good. Jesus overcame the trap of the Pharisees with the wisdom of God. He told them to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. Brothers and sisters, we must carry out our civic responsibilities, such as paying taxes, voting during elections, and obeying the laws of the land. In the same way, we must obey the laws of God and fulfill our duties to God and man as Christians. Caesar is important and he must get his dues in the form of taxes. Government laws must be obeyed as long as they do not go against the law of our God. As we obey the government and fulfill our obligations, so also we must obey God and carry out our Christian responsibility to God and our society. Our God is greater than Caesar in any government. Hear me again, our God is greater than any Caesar in any government. I encourage us today not to be like the Pharisees who set trap for the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't set trust for your friends. Don't set trust for your people. Don't set trap for your, your colleagues or your family members. The Lord is telling us today, it is not good. It is not a good one for you to set a trap for your people so that they will fail or fall into it and be exposed. Don't pull them down. Do not be an enemy of progress. Let us carry out our duties to the government, to men, and above all, to God. I pray today that God will give us the wisdom to overcome any trap or any obstacle in our life and in our faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God grant us the grace to be a responsible citizen. And above all, may we be able to carry out our duties to the Almighty God with complete obedience through Christ our Lord. Amen and Amen. Don't forget, the Lord is talking to you. Do not be an enemy of progress. Don't set trap for your friends. Don't set trap for your family members. Don't set trap for your colleagues so that they will fail. You will not gain anything from it. Rather, the Lord is watching you and be sure that the Lord will sort you out if you are in that category. I pray that even if you are in that category, the Lord will touch you right now and you will change to be a better person to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus.